I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a practice question for you. The coordinates of two vertices of a square are 0, 3 and 2, minus 1. Find the possible coordinates of other two vertices. So we are working with squares and we are given two coordinate points. So let us say these points are kind of like this. Okay. So I'm just labeling them as 0, 3 and 2 minus 1. What we need to find is other two coordinates which will make a square with one given side. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now here we can see that there are a couple of possibilities. Two of them are that we have to this is one side of the square, the other side could be on that side, right, this side. Uh, in that case, that could be a possible square, right? So the sides are equal and we have right angles. The other possibility is that we could go to the other side of this, right, and form a square. So these are two possible solutions right before us. Now, the idea is how to get these points, how to get these points from the given points. Since we are working with perpendicular sides, the slopes are related. Their product should be negative 1 or they should be negative reciprocal. So let me call these points as A and B. So let's find the slope AB first. Slope of A and B is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 which is minus 1 minus 3 divided by 2 minus 0 or minus 4 divided by 2 or minus 2. A line perpendicular to this will have slope of, let me write perpendicular line, negative reciprocal that is half, correct. So that is the slope. Now another way of looking into this question is that if I move from A to B, then really speaking, what is the change in X and what is the change in Y? Alright, this is what we wrote here. So it is minus 4 over 2. So let's concentrate on this. Minus 4 over 2. So when I say how, in that case, it could be like 2 over 4. Is it okay? the change could be 2 over 4. So if I maintain this constant change, this is a ratio. If I maintain this, then I also ensure equal side lengths, right? So that means equal side lengths. So this is a very important concept to understand. So that is to say, if I add minus 4 to y and 2 to x value, I'll get that coordinate of b. But if I do, if I add 4 to x value and 2 to y value, I'll get coordinates of the other vertex from a. Do you see that? So starting from a, which is 0, 3, if I do 4, so instead of going, we are going 2 right, 4 down. Do you see? 2 right, 4 down. If I, instead of that, we go 4 right, 2 up. Then where will we reach? 4 right, 2 up, right? So if I do 4 right, 2 up, then 4 gets added to 0, so we get 4 here, and 2 gets added to 3, so we get 5. So in fact, we go 4 right, 2 up, we'll come to this point. So it is this point. Similarly, from B, we have the point 2 minus 1. If we do 4 right 2 up, 4 right 2 up, in that case we'll add 4 to the x value which is 6. 2 up means add 2 to the y value. Minus 1 plus 2 will give us plus 1. Do you see that? So we get a point here which is 6 1 and that point will be 4 5 for us. So that is one set of points which will form a square with the given set of points. So this is one solution. So let me call this as uh, solution one, okay? 
Now let's find the second solution, right? So in the second solution, what are we trying to do? Instead of moving right and up, we'll move left and down, right? Both negative will also be positive. That's the whole idea. So 0, 3, will so 4 left, 2 down, okay? That means left means take away, take away 4, and 2 down means take away 2. So we get to minus 4, 1. Starting with 2 minus 1, 4 left, 2 down, well really means, left means take away 4, that is minus 2, 2 down means minus 2, so that means minus 3. So these coordinate points will be minus 4, 1 and minus 2, minus 3. So that is how we can get two different squares. So we are calling this as square 1 and this one as square 2. So we get two different solutions. Our answer is one set is uh, 4, 5 and 6, 1 and the second set is minus 4, 1 and minus 2, minus 3. I hope the steps and the concept is very clear. This is a very important question from examination point of view. Go through this video and understand the concepts. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.